Hello friends, this is Red Specs Gaming, and welcome to RL Craft. Um, I'm gonna talk while I move, because I have spawned in one of the worst biomes in this mod pack. We're getting over there, we're getting away from here. So what is RL Craft? RL Craft is a mod pack for Minecraft, of course, and RL Craft is designed to be more realistic, which is what the RL comes from. And it is in that it has thirst, it has temperature, it has uh, kind of a more realistic uh, advancement path. Stops being realistic when you start looking at the monsters. There are so many monsters, dragons, and things that explode, and elementals, and all kinds of nasty stuff. And really the best way to describe RL Craft is it's a mod pack that wants to kill you. I'm not even joking about that. You'll break a block, and a earth elemental will spawn, and it'll kill you right away. It's got locational damage. If you look, we have damage to the different parts of our body, and if you take too many, like, head points, you die. So skeletons have become a terror in this mod pack, in that they can headshot you in, like, two shots and put you down. So, I'm going to show you, uh, in this first video anyways, uh, the quickest way that you're going to get to what you need to in RL Craft because one of the other problems of RL Craft is you die and you get spawned like thousands of blocks away. And so you can kiss your stuff goodbye. So really what you want to do is rush to a bed as soon as possible. And so the way I have found to do this the easiest is first off, we need gravel and we found some gravel. And if we break that out, what we're looking for is flint ultimately. Uh, to pick up, you either right click or you hold shift and you'll pick stuff up. So let's just get a bunch of flint here if we can. Or a bunch of gravel so we can get flint. But I found that if you uh, just grab a bunch of it, we can kind of use it to get flint easier. And we're gonna. You can also hit shift, like I said, and you pick everything up. And if you look, there's one flint right now. So that's good. That's very good. And all right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to this little POI right here. This should be a peaceful POI. I think, yeah? Maybe. POIs are also uh, your friend in this pack because it's really hard to get to a... What is this? Um, I don't know what that is. Okay. It's really hard to get to a, a uh, stage where you can build in the first night and nighttime is not a... You don't want to be out at night. Alright, so let's see. I don't think the wood is hard enough, but we'll try it. If we right click the flint onto the wood... Nope, not hard enough. Alright, so we need stone. We need something stone that we can right-click this flint onto and chip it into uh, into flaked flint. Um, so let's go back over here. There was another POI or something. Wait, no, right here's perfect. Okay, so be careful of the hole. But we're going to use this real quick, and you see how that broke it into two pieces? There, get the heck out of this hole. And now what we need are some uh, branches or some sticks. And so we're going to punch leaves. And the reason we're not just punching the tree is because that's not going to get you any wood in this mod pack. The old vanilla thought pattern is not there for that. And we can pick up all these sticks. How many do we get? Let's go for four. There's another one right there. Alright, that works. And then we can take the sticks, and I'm going to do two of them in here. And you can put your flint shards in there, and you'll get two flint knives. Now using those flint knives, we're going to cut a bunch of grass. Just a whole bunch of grass. And I'm going to kind of walk around with a shift button held down so that I can pick that up as I go. You know what I mean? Because like I said, you, you actually pick things up when you're near things and you hold shift. I just want all of this grass. I want to get like 30. If I can get like 30 pieces of grass, we'll be good. I think it's called uh, plant fibers once it's cut. And that's why I did two knives, by the way, because flint tools do not last long. We have 32. Okay, you know what? Let's go 33. Even number, because we're going to need three of them. I mean, it's an odd number, but it's an even number for what we're doing. And that is, oh, we got 34. Game is a troll. Okay. And so you put three in here like this, and you get plant string. And so that works. Um, we're going to keep one of these aside. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to 
let's see, I would need four times three, twelve, so I still need two more plant strings. So let's get a few more of these real quick. Bam, bam. Still got some over here that we dropped, or we didn't pick up. Alright, let's make that into string, these fibers. And then we take this and we go like this and you get wool and three wool is what we need. And now we're going to take one more piece of string. We're going to take, um, actually we need another, we need another flint. So we're going to take this gravel is what we're going to do. And we're going to do this thing here where you, hold on one second, mouse wasn't behaving, where you can just put it down and break it. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to hold both right and left click button together. And you'll see you start stacking. And the reason I'm holding shift is because I want to pick up any flint that flies out. What we're doing is we're just basically breaking the flint. Or trying to shake the flint out of the gravel. And of course it's spitting pieces off where even my shift wasn't picking it up. Because, you know, the game is a troll. Okay. So you want to be afraid of all monsters, all all kind of animals, all kinds of things in this mod pack. But the fairy types, they seem to be friendly. So this one would give me regeneration if I got nearer, see? And then there's ones that look like ghosts. They actually will give you uh, night vision. So the fairy ones seem to be one of the few creatures that doesn't want to kill you in this mod pack. Alright, so we got another piece of flint. Where's that hole at where the stone was? We need to chip this too. Alright, there's a monster down in that hole. Alright, we're out of there. So there, we have that. Now taking that, we can go flint, we can go string, and we can go stick. And now we have flint hatchet. And now what we need is some wood. So we're going to cut down this tree. And you want to hit it at the bottom block because RL Craft has a really neat feature where if you take the bottom block of the tree out Timber! Oh no, I killed a fairy! I killed a fairy! She went in front of- Oh, that's terrible! Oh well, we'll take her stuff. Whatever. Alright, so as you can see, she ruined my my, my with uh, reveal there, but the trees fall over for you. And then you get all the stuff from them. But look, at she just dropped Use a firebolt of the Fey energy. This deals no damage, but applies the life leak debuff, converting all damage dealing into healing. Can also be fired from a dispenser. Interesting. So she dropped a few things there. I did not mean to kill her. That was terrible. And um, such is life, though. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these logs that, that fell, and we're going to put them down. And... Just like we did with the flint, we're going to hit it on top. So, you know, whenever you're trying to activate something that's like block activated in this mod pack, it seems that you have to hit it on top. Right? I hear something really evil down in, under the ground here. So I want to make some distance before it gets too dark, because whatever it is, is horrible. Alright, and then we can take these. We can make us a crafting table. And I'm going to get another tree, and then we're going to go back to this POI I saw earlier. Ugh. There's so many sounds in this game. A lot of them don't mean anything. They're just background noise, but they're there to scare you. And they do a pretty good job. I can tell you, they do a pretty good job of scaring me. Whatever it is, is following me around underground, I can tell. Just waiting to come out at night, I think. All right. Some mobs can go through blocks, by the way. Like, there are banshees that will just fly right through blocks, so you want to be cautious of that. Alright, I want to see if we can find a place to hold up for the night because the sun is starting to go down. There's a tower. Maybe we can do it on top of the tower. Let's go to the top of this tower. So this is actually a dungeon entrance, right? And, um, I know actually underneath this, if we follow the stairway down, it goes deep down under. There's a ton of monsters and stuff down there. We're not ready for that at all at the beginning. Just no way in heck. 
Are we ready for that? So, oop, I fell. I want to get to the, the roof of the dungeon if I can. Where's the way up? Take, we'll take this uh, gravel and use it to jump. There's torches on top, so I know that's okay with light. All right, give me that gravel real quick. We're gonna pop up here real fast. Where's the entry? Right here. Okay, so we're gonna nerd pull up. We're up here where it's safe. Nothing can spawn on us up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that crafting table, put that down, and we're gonna put down some more logs. So I get some more planks, hit them on top. Bam, bam, bam. That kind of looks like this. The moon is wearing sunglasses, like deal with it. Alright, and then we're gonna take three of these and we're gonna make our bed. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. We have a bed. Ready to go. We're gonna put the bed down here. We're gonna sleep till morning. See you guys in the morning. Alright, so that's pretty cool. We now have a spawn place. This is where we will respawn, and we're not going to always have this as our spot, but this is just gives us an ability to not get thrown across the world when we die. We have somewhere we can come back to, and so I'm going to actually take these torches, because these are there's, there's two kinds of torches in this. There's ones that last forever, they're the ones that look like they have this metal bracing on them, and then there's the ones that you can make without, see these are you have to make with glowstone dust. Where'd that go? right there um, but the regular torches that you just straight up make um, actually they're falling on the ground aren't they all right fine let's see how many of these we can knock off and then go down and get how about that anyways regular torches they have to be relit if, if you break them so you know you have to light them first off you have to light them to begin with when you craft torches they don't craft lit so you need something else to light them, which I'll show you when we get to that point. Um, and then they have to be relit if you snap them off the wall. So they're not as nice as these, which stay lit forever. Alright, so those should all be on the ground. I'm going to leave four of them up here in case we end up having to be respawned here. And we will pop down this way. Ow. Yeah, there's that locational damage. I hurt my foot. All right, let's go see if we can find all the torches I knocked off real quick. Torches, torch. What the heck is that? Oh, okay, see that big monster over there? It looks. They look like sauropods with moss growing off of them. They um, they're friendly. There are a lot of. Well, when I say friendly, they 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 run if you hit them. There are a lot of mobs in this like that. Everything isn't necessarily wanting to kill you. The problem is, is everything you do in this mod pack. Will, is a chance to die. Like I said, you could be chopping a block and then suddenly you've got um, you've got uh, an elemental spawning to kill you. You could be cutting a tree and a treant might pop out and kill you. Uh, breaking grass, you get nymphs. There's just all you should always be ready to fight or run. Actually, run is probably the better option. And as you can see, when we put that other tree down before, it killed the fairy. It'll kill you too. Just be aware of that. So we're gonna go this way. Thank you for the regeneration, that'll fix my foot up. Oh god, it's a lion! Run! That was a lion. We gotta get out of here. It'll wanna kill us. Oh, he's running too. You see that? Oh man, we gotta make some make some distance here. Um, you know, speaking of, let's take a moment and make a few things here, real quick. Let's put our crafting table down. Let's cut a, some more wood, real quick. And we're gonna bam, bam. Just right click once on the top, sometimes twice. If the game doesn't register it. And this isn't going to help us much, I can tell you that right now, but we're going to make a, a sword. And we're going to make a hatchet. It's going to be wood. Wood is still better than flint, I can tell you that right now. 
Okay. Let's uh, do some more, shall we? I want a pickaxe too. Well, we'll start with this one. Bam, 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 bam. All right, so that's broken, which is fine. Let's make a pickaxe real fast. Bam, bam. Then we go bam, bam, bam. And this is going to be a temporary pickaxe because we're going to make everything out of stone here in a minute. So we're going to dig in here and get some of the stone while we're here. When we have a breather. Before we head out. Probably should have just waited on the sword and the hat hatchet to be honest. But I think we would have needed the hatchet to get the, the, the what we needed um, plank wise anyways. Um, one thing to notice. You see in the middle of my screen above my uh, bar at the bottom there. There's a, like a blue white circle that's your temperature gauge and so that tells you what you're basically uh, what your temperature is right now we're cool uh, if it goes bluer or it turns into a, a, a snowflake you're too cold and you'll start taking damage from being too cold if it goes red or turns into flame you're starting to get too hot and then you'll take damage from that one thing to notice here I'm breaking all these blocks and I'm getting rock instead of uh, stone, like stone blocks instead of cobblestone. You just got to take it, put it in a 4x4, four four, now you have cobblestone. Right? And then we can go like this. Again. Bam, bam. Now we have a stone pickaxe, which I just threw down on the ground for some reason. We will throw this one on the ground. Actually, we'll go, we're going to hang on to these until we don't need them, because they could be backups for us. Let's make a stone sword. Actually, we're going to make a different weapon real quick. Let me get some more string while I have this knife. What we're going to do is we're going to make a halberd. A halberd is a fairly decent weapon because it's got good range. It's got good damage. So we want a stone halberd. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Where's the stone one? I'm blind. Of course we could do stone at the beginning, huh? Stone halberd. This guy right here. And... It needs a pole, but a pole is just string and sticks, so there you go. And then we can take stone and go bam, 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 bam. Is that the right? What did I do wrong? Oh, okay. Remove this one. And we have a halberd. Alright, let's get out of here. Probably going to need to drink soon. Okay, yeah. You starting to see how the, the world looks pixelated a little bit? That's an effect of your thirst. And so you see I've got the bar over my food bar. That's the uh, the blue drops. That's your thirst meter. And you will start taking damage if you let it get all the way down. Plus your vision starts to get blurry. So if you walk up to a water source and you shift right click, you drink. But since it's not clean water, you're going to get that thirst effect. Which isn't a big deal. It does lower, I think, your food some. So you just want to be cautious about doing it when you're almost out of food. Later on, we'll be able to actually, um, what you call it, we'll be able to, like, clean water. Uh, I'm going to get some of this birch, because birch has a lot of uses. And so I want to cut some birch. Ah, now, so sometimes when the trees are stacked together like this, they won't collapse right. So it's the old-fashioned way of cutting them block by block. Alright, and there's some pumpkins here. Can we get those? Yeah, I'll take a pumpkin. Alright. Ooh, what's this? There's stuff over here. Let's go see what this is. Always keeping your eye to the sky, by the way. Um, from the sky comes much death. Alright, I can already tell. Cobwebs, moss. This is going to be some kind of nasty place, probably. Oh, but, but on the other side over there, there's definitely something. This is going to be a nasty place, so let's just be cautious. Wow. Look at this. Some runes. Some old runes. Is that wool? That is wool. Alright, off we go. Found us a village. Alright, nice. 
I think we found home, guys. We'll see. Let's uh, look around the village here. These things are... The loud-ass things are the, the guardians of the village. So, unless you attack a villager, you don't have to worry about them. Um, Alright, there's lots of stuff to loot here. I can see that. Here's the waystone I was talking about. You find these. And now you can teleport back here from any other waystone. So they give you a way to get around the, the world. Plus they give you a spawn point if you don't have one. What do we got inside here? First off, we've got some pads that would have to go. What the heck are you and why are you there? That's freaky looking. Why would they decorate with that? Alright, so I kind of recognize this house because when I tried this mod pack on my stream over at uh, twitch.tv slash redspecsgaming, I think I lived in this, this POI. Now, this isn't a bad POI, but it's not a lot of room to move about in here, so we might not use this POI. We'll be doing looting as soon as we figure out where we're living, by the way. We'll come back and do looting. You know what? Let's just get inside for now and sleep till morning, shall we? Let's plug this hole. We good? Close, close that door. Close the door behind you, man. Apparently all the guys are in here. Alright, let's put down our crafting table, make a sleeping bed. Make a bed. Bam. One, two, three. One, two, three. I've got a bed. Sleep through the night, shall we? See you guys in the morning. Um, let's go over here. I like that there's a lot of fairies here. That means I'll have regeneration a lot, which is nice. Save me on heals. Nothing that way. That's out of the village. Let's go up this way. I don't like all the trees, though. Too many places for things to spawn, you know? I like all of the light poles in this village, though. It means I won't have to light it up as much. So, there are goods and bads with this village. Let's look at the ruins again that we were at. Maybe this is a spot that we can build. We can build this up over time and make it into our... What am I in? Oh, great. I'm in some spider webs. We can build this up. Oh, crap! Oh, my God. He snuck up on me completely. And you know what? I ignored that sound for a few minutes because I actually used that as a scare sound on my stream. And so it's trained me not to listen to that. Let's look at our damage. Looks like we just took a little bit of leg damage, so that's not bad. It could have been worse. What the heck is going on in this ruins? What is this place? But you know what it is? It's a place that already has furnaces built in. This might be worth looking at, guys. I just want to make sure there's nothing too evil going on. This might be what we start with. We might build this up. Alright, so this is all just wool, right? We might use this, guys. I think this will be neat. Um, so let's make a chest real quick. We need another crafting bench. We're gonna, if, we, if we're going to use this spot, we're going to make this our work area here. This will be our work area. So we'll need to seal off the ceiling and stuff. Um, so let's put this down here. Let's make a chest so we can unload stuff. And we'll start putting storage in here too. Let's just unload everything. Um, one, two, three. And I think we're, yeah, we got three planks, so that's perfect. So now we can just get rid of all of this stuff real quick. And we'll do some sorting here in a minute. And we'll put these backups in here. Dig this out. These things get you caught and the creeper creeps up on you. Like what just happened. You really don't want that. Alright, and then make us a bed real fast. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Now we have a bed. And we're going to put our bed. Let's see. Let's do our bed up here. We'll put our bed right here. So let's break this out. I'm going to put the bed like right here. So when we respawn, we respawn right there. 
Boom. Home sweet home. Let's cut these trees out. We're gonna start cleaning the trees out of the village is what we're gonna do. And I'll probably do that between between episodes as we'll go through the village, clean out the trees, and collect all the wood and get that ready to go. I like to build. I'm a big guy a builder when it comes to games like this, so there's gonna be some building shows, but I will try to keep most of the boring stuff off camera. What I'm not going to keep off camera is the deaths, because I'm going to die a lot. The only reason I haven't died in this episode is I've gotten good at the first couple of days of the game, basically by running from everything. But you guys will see, you will get lots of death, and I will show all of them, because that is to me the real RL craft experience, is dying a lot. So, as long as you don't mind dying a lot, this is the, the mod pack for you. I have to figure out if there's a use for these these nuts other than planting other trees. Because you get a lot of them when you cut down the trees. Down she goes. Pop. There we go. Okay. Should be enough for us to get a a roof over our heads over here. We get a door, door on our place here. Let's do that real quick. Get some more planks. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. We got that. We got that. We got that. Let's go. Um, door, I think, is like this. Yes, okay. We have a door. Put that here. Boom. And, um, yeah. So, let's put up some light. Light would be nice, right? Always nice to have light. And you can check your light levels with F7 in this pack. If you see anything in the red, it's danger. This is starting to get dangerous, but I don't think it is dangerous. That is right there, though. So we're going to do that. And now we have lights. At least our little room is secured, mostly. Except for they could spawn up above us. But we'll, we'll get a roof on this uh, before the next episode. So I think we're going to call this episode here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, do me a favor and hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try to do two or three couple of these a, a, a week. We'll see. Um, like I said, I do stream mostly. So uh, if you want to see me play other games, come on over to uh, twitch.tv slash redspecsgaming and uh, you're more than welcome to hang out with us. But I will be back on another episode of this later on and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great one.